If you use the Microsoft Visio program, then you probably already know that program has a lot of shapes. I mean, a lot of shapes. And sometimes too many shapes depending upon the type of drawing that you are creating. Now, the shapes are organized into shape palettes or stencils, but still, it's a lot. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own customized shape palette. It's called a custom stencil and you can share them and have several and organize them by the type of drawings that you create most often. So instead of just looking for shapes, give me a couple of minutes and I'll show you how to create a custom stencil in Microsoft Visio. Oh, and at the end of this video, I have one extra little cool trick that I'll share with you. So see you in a bit. To create a custom stencil in Microsoft Visio, I can use either a blank drawing or an existing drawing. In this example, I've created a pretty basic cross-functional flowchart. When I created this drawing, it provided me with shapes and stencils to the left. The basic flowchart shapes and cross-functional flowchart shapes. But I'd like to use shapes from other stencils. And for this example, the decorative shapes stencil and the calendar shapes stencil. So to add shapes to a custom stencil, I first got to create one and to create it, I'll just move up to more shapes and then over and down to new stencil in US units. Although I do have the option of creating that stencil in metric units. I'll choose US units and I'm provided with a blank stencil on the left. The stencil is in edit mode and unsaved. You can tell it's in edit mode by the red asterisk that is next to the word stencil. To add shapes to the stencil while it's open, I can just move to any other stencil that I'd like to shop for shapes on and take a shape, for example, the smiley face and drag it out onto my screen. Now I'll go to calendar shapes and do the same thing with the push pin because I may want to use shapes from this or several other stencils in drawings all the time. So now I'll move to my blank stencil and grab the first shape and drag it onto my stencil. And I'll do the same with the smiling face. Once I've dragged the shapes onto the stencil, I can right click any of the shapes and choose rename and rename the shape. Or I can even edit the shape by moving to edit master. I'll just save the stencil and to save the stencil I can either click save or I can right click on the stencil's name line and select save. Stencils are stored in the my shapes subfolder of the documents folder. I'll just name it mine and then click save. The stencil is now saved, it's now named, but it's still in edit mode, meaning that if I use shapes by dragging them onto the page, I will drag the shapes off of my custom stencil. So I'll turn that edit mode off by right clicking and then choosing edit stencil, which turns off the command. I can now use these shapes in my drawing and they remain on the stencil for use in any other drawing that I might have. If I'd like to add shapes to the stencil when it's closed, I can just go to any other stencil and any other shape and right click. So in, I'll choose ideas and then add to my shapes and then I'm presented with a favorites stencil that you could use or the mine is the stencil that I just created. That shape has now been added to the mine custom stencil that I've created. And to reopen that stencil, I can just go to more shapes and then over to my shapes and then over to mine and activate that stencil. 
Now my, state, my stencil is active with the three shapes that I've added. I can also share stencils, and to share a stencil, I can just go to the folder where they're stored, the My Shapes subfolder of Documents, and then select the stencil and then share it using either the share option here or emailing it. I can also store stencils on a server and any other Visio users have access to that stencil. The real power with stencils comes with being able to mix and match shapes that work specifically for you. So create one, create a few and customize them so that those stencils work for you. So that's a quick way to create some custom organization in Microsoft Visio using custom stencils. Now, I did promise you one extra one, and here it is. So because Microsoft Visio has so many shapes, you can use these shapes in lots of other applications. So if you need, for example, a car in Microsoft PowerPoint, you just open up Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Visio, drag a car shape out onto the page and copy, then move to Microsoft PowerPoint and paste. There you go. A quick way to use the shapes in Microsoft Visio in lots of other applications. Oh, by the way, if you need a tree in Word, you can have a tree in Word. So until the next video, I'm Wayne.